Hi, welcome to this screencast on Uncanny Owl's LearnDash demo site. I'm Ryan and I'm going to spend the next few minutes walking you through what LearnDash is and how we incorporated it into a WordPress site. Right now you can see the home page of our demo site. It's a pretty standard marketing home page with a slider, some marketing copy, a form for signing in, and a contact form at the bottom. At the top you'll see some standard menu items as well as some that are unique to LearnDash. Right now I'm signed into WordPress so I can see a menu item for my courses. This is part of LearnDash so let's take a closer look. This is the Learner's Dashboard. On this page you can see that I'm enrolled in three courses and one of them has been completed. If I drill down into the first sample course you can see a list of lessons and quizzes. The green check mark indicates that I've completed the associated lesson. Let's take a closer look at some lessons. Okay, this first lesson is a pretty standard post with text and some images. I'm using a lightbox tool to show high-res versions of images. On the right side, it's easy to return to the list of lessons, see my progress in the course, and navigate elsewhere on the site. Beneath LearnDash Lessons, there are tools to move backwards and forwards between lessons. And if it's a lesson that hasn't yet been completed, you'll generally see a Mark Complete button. Of course, you're not limited to just text and images. Here's a lesson with an embedded PowerPoint presentation. Learners can view it online or download the file. Here's a lesson with a YouTube video. You can also embed Articulate Storyline, Studio, Captivate, Lectora, or other e-learning modules in LearnDash lessons. This lesson shows an embedded Captivate module. While you can capture activity that users complete using an LRS, we haven't set one up for this site. This lesson includes an example of how you might offer facilitated training. A discussion forum is embedded in this lesson that lets learners collaborate and discuss the lesson content. Last but not least on the course side, here's a demo quiz. LearnDash includes a number of question types and this list or this quiz uses several of them. When a user passes the quiz, an email can go to the administrator and the learner can download and print a certificate. Here's an example of a certificate. Everything is a JPEG image except the learner name, which is added by LearnDash and then output as a PDF file. Now let's take a quick look at e-commerce capabilities. LearnDash courses can be offered for free or as paid purchases, either one time or subscription. Here I am in our course store and I'll go ahead and start to buy a course. In this example, you can see how my billing address is used to calculate tax and then I can use PayPal to pay. The rest of the pages on this site are pretty standard for WordPress, so let's just jump over to the administration dashboard instead. As you can probably tell from the items on the left in the sidebar, we use a lot of plugins to deliver a great learner experience. In fact, let's take a look at the list of them. If you're really ambitious and determined, you could capture some screenshots right now to see what we're using and replicate most of it, but you'll honestly save a lot of time and money by getting our help instead. If your budget is really tight, this will at least point you in the right direction. Since you're probably watching this video to learn more about LearnDash, let's jump to that plugin now and take a look at courses. Courses add structure around the lessons and let you build learning programs. Let's edit this first course. The first thing you'll notice is that it looks a lot like a regular WordPress post, especially if you're familiar with Visual Composer. What really makes it different is this course section at the bottom. This is where we can define course access and lesson behavior. This particular course is open to everyone, has only one user assigned to it, and learners can complete lessons in any order they want. Now let's take a look at a sample lesson. This is the Captivate lesson. Again, it looks like any other WordPress post until you scroll down to the bottom. In this section, we've defined which course the lesson is a part of. Now I'll open Quizzes. I'll edit the first quiz. The LearnDash quiz settings are at the bottom, and there are lots of them. 
Let's take a look at questions now. By clicking the questions tab, you can view and edit the questions associated with this quiz. That's as much as I'll demo in this video, but LearnDash also includes functionality for things like assignments, groups, and reports. The best way to learn more is to explore the support site that you have access to when you buy a LearnDash license. There are lots of great screencasts, documentation, and there's an active user forum that can help provide any help you might need as you get started with LearnDash. If you find you need more help with LearnDash or want someone to build a platform for you, make sure to visit Uncanny Owl at uncannyowl.com.